Yo, what's good? It's a new day and another day to work on the camper van conversion. So, as you can see, I have a little progress. Um, basically, I first did the flooring. I kind of just laid it out, as you saw. Nailed it in, screwed it in, I mean. And then um, I cut out these pegs. As you can see, this isn't attached, but I'm going to get there. So I cut out all the pegs and um, cut them to fit. You know, you can make it whatever dimensions you want, but cut it to fit and uh, got them all screwed in. And then I cut or I measured this top bar, basically, this frame, top frame, and I nailed it all together on the concrete so that it is somewhat flat. All right, so I've nailed everything in to the studs, and also I added this middle bar right here because basically this whole area is going to be storage, and that's going to be the seat slash bench. So I'm basically kind of doing the setup like a Westphalia in a way because this is going to be a bench that folds out to around here. And then also, you know, you can slide it into a bench back again. All right, it's been some time now, but for you guys, it's probably been no time at all. But here is one of the cabinets. So got this framed out. Um, like the hard part really is just framing all this, and then I'm just gonna cover it with plywood. So yeah. All right, so here we are. In YouTube time, no time has passed, but in real life time, a few days have passed. And uh, due to my work schedule, I haven't had time to work on this much, but I have done a little bit. So as you can see, I put in these right there and right there. And I know they're crooked. It's whatever. It's cool. It's awesome. So um, next order of business. I also cut out these sheets with the wood that I had left over from uh, doing the floor. And I have some here, some right there, and that's going to cover all right here in the sides up front. And basically, I got some wood and some hardwood, plywood, and I'm going to cut out my bed and the tops. And, uh, yeah, go from there. So, all right, so I have caulked all the way, you can see down to there, straight on this line where the wood floor connects. And also, I put up the panels that I cut, right there, right there, in there, here and here. So, as you can see, it's not perfect by any means. It'll crack right there. But, um, yeah, I don't care, because, I don't know, man, this is just fun to make, and I don't really care about the imperfections. Oh, and right here. But, um, yeah, so, so far, so good. All right, so after looking at my itinerary, the next thing I have to do is cut out my bed from this wood. And I think it's gonna be about five, nine by whatever this width is, which is like three, almost three and a half feet. But, um, <clears throat> yeah, I'm gonna cut out that plywood. All right, so I cut my bed out out of this wood. And I put it in just to see how it fit, and it fits pretty nice. So now my only <clears throat> um, issue, I guess you could say, is figuring out how I'm going to configure this bed. Um, it's kind of hard to explain my ideas because I just have them in my in my mind right now. But um, I will show you through my camera. So after uh, you know some. Working on it here, working on it there. I've completed the bed as well as there's two storage areas. And that is where the kitchen will be, which is what I'm gonna do last. But uh, let me walk around and show you the back. So what I have right here is pretty simple. Got a latch, opens up. There's storage down there. Same on that side. So I have two fairly large storage boxes. And then 
over here, this right here goes up, and that is storage as well. And this, you see how this is like a, its own little strip of wood right here? This is connected to the frame, so this whole bed, since it's all connected to this, is somewhat connected. Um, you can see I put blocks in right here and there. Just a little thing to stop this from um, going back too far. Now let me show you the real cool part of this whole thing. Um, now I still have more work to do, but you open this, there's storage, and you can see my legs are flopping all over the area, but I have these blocks as stoppers for when I put this down so this thing can't slide out this way anymore so like I said it's hard to show you because these stupid legs just just flop all over the area but um here let me I'm gonna pull this out and show you how it gets down when I pull it out so hold on a sec Obviously not very smooth, but um, yeah, that just goes right down, and these legs are what supports this. Alright, so, obviously, I have some work to do, <laughs> but um, you know, this is pretty good sized bed and here I have these which are held on with hinges on the other side so they move and eventually um, I will create something that holds them to the wood when I'm done using the bed so I can put it up attach it to the wood so it's not like dangling all over the area but uh yeah this is it I am pretty satisfied I mean I just kind of worked in plans at the same time you know I didn't really like plan ahead so pretty uh, satisfied with how this came out but um yeah super cool and it's a decent sized bed I mean as far as width goes and length it's just perfect but um what I'm gonna do is find out a way to make it smoother to fold this in and I'm probably going to put one more of these in the middle on this side so it's just extra support and also I noticed that when I put weight on this side that comes up a little so I need to fix that I probably will just get a metal strip of some sort and just put it flat so when you bend it up it's still sticking straight out because it cracks here like I'll attach it to this and not this one but at the same time when I put pressure it won't be able to come up um, I don't think that made sense but yeah that's it's pretty much what I've been working on for a while now um, yeah so that's my little camper bed thing thing majig um, so yeah it's been a lot of work but I'm happy with the progress so more work to come soon and I'll show you what I do next all right, peace out.